You know how many people actually like exercising and eating healthy? Zero. Zero people. If you do, you're a liar. That just means that you've brainwashed yourself for long enough that you actually think you prefer vegetable straws over Pop-Tarts and Bagel Bites. Liar. I always laugh on House Hunters when the wife is like, I have to have a yoga studio. I'm like, yeah, right, that's not getting used. You know what that's gonna be? That's gonna be a luggage storage room. Because there's never a good place to store your luggage. I think it's funny when I get done exercising and someone's like, oh, how was your workout? Uh, a nightmare? Pure suffering and agony? I'm drowning in my own sweat and my heart feels like Brock Lesnar used it as a stress ball post roids. So yeah, <laughs> my workout was great. Especially more than anything, I hate the gym. It's just armpits and feet. It's just one big armpits and feet festival. Even if people wear shoes, it still always smells like feet. Why? So I was a competitive dancer for most of my life and uh, I've continued dancing throughout the years. So that combined with the fact that I hate gyms, uh, I've always had to find a an alternative way to work out. I can't just be on a treadmill for like an hour. Like it's so boring. I can't do the machines, none of that. I've always been somewhat active and I eat okay, like definitely not great, but I gave birth seven months ago and that's when I decided I'm gonna actually try getting in shape for like the first time. I'm gonna try to eat better and exercise and I'm gonna do it. So after I had Chloe, I made a plan and I've stuck to it and I've definitely seen results. So I'm just gonna share my little tips and tricks with you guys, things that have worked for me. Hopefully they'll work for you. Oh, and doing these things, I'm seven pounds lighter than I was before I got pregnant. It's not funny. Stop laughing at me. It's not funny. And I'm down a pant size, which is crazy because I've been the same pant size since I was like 18. I have jeans that they gave me on the set of all that that I still wear. I should get new jeans. All right, let's start with exercise. I run for about 45 minutes to an hour every day or almost every day. All right, time for the daily run. Are you ready, Riley? Are you ready? Let's do this. Previously in my life, I never ran. I was always taught that it was bad for your turnout if you're a ballet dancer. Don't worry, I have so much sunscreen on, you can smell me from like a mile away. <laughs> I started out slow, I built up my stamina, and now I can pretty much run straight for, like I said, about 45 minutes. Ooh, Spinarak. Stay in the ball. Yes, got him. Then I made a playlist on YouTube of five videos from a YouTube channel called Be Fit. They're from a series called Ballet Beautiful, hosted by Mary Helen Bowers, who used to be a dancer with the New York City Ballet. And also she's the one that trained Natalie Portman for Black Swan, so she's legit. I'll link to those vids below, but the five are uh, butt, abs, inner thighs, outer thighs, and arms. From start to finish, my playlist is maybe an hour. I think it's less than that. And I do that about three times a week. Obviously I picked those videos because they're ballet and that's what I'm used to. It's what I've trained in my whole life. Uh, also, ballet dancers are like the strongest, most graceful people on the planet and they have the best butts. And that is it for exercise. That's it. Next is diet. Uh, I still basically eat the same things I did before. Uh, I still eat like salt and sugar and carbs and bad stuff. I mean, not all the time, but like I didn't cut that stuff out. But I found with running as much as I do and increasing my stamina, I just naturally eat less. It's crazy. It just happened. Like magic. I do try to focus more on protein. I eat a lot of chicken and a lot of vegetables. Like at the beginning of the week, I'll just like crock pot a bunch of chicken breasts and just like eat that throughout the week. However, the biggest change was liquid. I don't drink my calories anymore. I don't drink soda, I don't drink juice. I mean, I have a little bit of alcohol now and then if I'm out. We're gonna get beer. 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 But I exclusively stick to water and I drink a lot of water, so much water. Like eight or nine glasses a day and I just kind of train myself to do that. So now I'm, I'm used to it and if I don't drink that much, I get really thirsty. So I'm to the point that I don't even have to actively try to drink more water. My body just craves it. And honestly, that is it. 
just to recap, I run for about 45 minutes to an hour every day. I do my ballet beautiful workout, those five videos, about three times a week. I don't drink my calories anymore, and I drink so much water! So much water! Drink water! Oh, I also stretch all the time, but I've done that my whole life. That's not really a big change for me. Although I don't do it drunk anymore. trying to brag or anything, but I'm just really proud of myself, you know, going down a, a pant size after I've given birth. You know, you're supposed to, they say you get bigger after you uh, have a child, but that is not the case with me. I got smaller. I hope some of these tips work for you. You should try them out. Uh, and uh, tweet me. Tweet me your tips and tricks. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Snapchat. And please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I, w I would like that. It would, it would mean a lot to me. Please subscribe. And I will see you next time for more silliness on the Lisa Foyles channel. Goodbye! Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because you know my channel, it's pretty awesome. You want to be part of this.